a terminal emulation window in Red Hat, Fedora, SUSE, and Mandrake. Throughout these CD video tutorials, we're going to use a number of different distributions to do various Linux tasks and run many different Linux commands. By using different distributions throughout these tutorials, you'll get a chance to see the similarities and differences between various distributions. This tutorial shows opening a terminal emulation window in Red Hat, Fedora, SUSE, and Mandrake. A terminal emulation window provides access to the shell. In this case, we're going to be using the bash shell, and a terminal emulation window provides a prompt at which you can run Linux commands. This is sometimes referred to as the command line interface, and command line interface can be abbreviated with the capital letters CLI. So here we have the GNOME desktop in Red Hat, and I'm going to right-click on the desktop and select New Terminal to open a terminal emulation window. And now I'm going to point here, and it shows that this will maximize the window, and I'm going to click to maximize the window. I want some more space at the bottom of the desktop, so I'm right-clicking on the panel and choosing Properties, and then choosing Auto Hide, and that causes the panel to disappear at the bottom, and then when I move my mouse cursor over top of the panel, it appears again. You should always log into a desktop as a user other than the root user. In other words, you log into a desktop as a non-root user. When you log into a desktop as a non-root user and open a terminal emulation window, by default you are working under the username that you used to log into the desktop. In other words, when you log into a desktop as the CWest user and open a terminal emulation window, you are working in the terminal emulation window as the CWest user in the terminal emulation window. So I can see here that the current username is shown here, which is CWest. This is the ending directory in the path. In other words, it's the current directory. I'm going to run the PWD command, which stands for Path to Working Directory. In other words, the path to the current directory. I've logged in to the desktop as CWest, open a terminal emulation window, and I'm working as the CWest user. When you are working as a non-root user in the Red Hat, Fedora, and Mandrake distributions, a dollar sign appears here at the right of the prompt. However, when you're working as a non-root user in the SUSE distribution, a greater than sign, in other words, this symbol, appears at the right of the prompt for a non-root user. Now I'm going to SU to root, so I type in SU space dash, so I'm using the dash option of the SU command to SU to root, and I put in a password. And notice, once I've SU'd to root, in other words, I'm working as the root user, you can see the current username here, and you can also see the current directory here. When I run the PWD command, you can see that I am in the directory named root, in other words, R-O-O-T, which is the home directory of the root user, which is this user, and the R-O-O-T directory is below the root directory, which is represented by a slash, which looks like this. And to finish working as the root user, I type in the exit command, and now I'm working again as the CWest user, and I am in the CWest user's home directory, which is named CWest below home. And I'm going to hit Control L to clear the screen. We have just been working in Red Hat. All of the steps that you have just seen, such as opening a terminal emulation window, hiding the panel, and running the SU command to SU to root, are exactly the same in Fedora Core. This is SUSE Linux Professional, and we've logged into the KDE desktop. And you can open a terminal emulation window here by clicking on this console icon. Notice that console appears here. And I'm going to click here to maximize the terminal emulation window. And I'm going to right click here, select configure panel, and select hiding. And it's going to hide automatically. Immediately, I'm going to move the window up a little bit so that I can click down here. And now when I move my cursor down here, the panel appears. When I move my cursor off of this area, the panel disappears. Notice the prompt. We logged into the desktop as the CWest user. We're on the KDE desktop. The username is here. We have the greater than symbol. And this tilde represents the home directory of the CWest user. You can see the path to the home directory of the CWest user. And when I ask you to root, I can tell that I'm the root user because the pound sign or the number sign appears here. This tilde represents the home directory of the root user. And that's this directory here. And I'm going to run exit. And now I'm not working as the 
root user anymore, and I'm going to run the clear command to clear the screen, and I'm sitting in a terminal emulation window as the CWest user. And so here we are at the Mandrake Linux official desktop, and this opens a terminal emulation window. We're on the GNOME desktop, and I'm going to maximize this terminal emulation window, and right-click on this panel, choose Properties, Auto-Hide, and the panel is gone, and when I move up to it, it appears. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. And the bottom panel is gone until I move over it. We logged into the desktop as the CWest user. The username appears here. This is the current directory. It's the home directory of the CWest user. And I'm going to ask you to root. So when I'm working as the root user, this is the current directory, this is the username, you can see it here. When you're working in Mandrake as the root user, you get a pound symbol here, and when you're working as a non-root user, you get a number sign there. So that was opening a terminal emulation window in Mandrake.